Good evening. Repossessions are on the rise, although the figures aren't quite as bad as many had feared. The data shows lenders claimed just over 27,000 homes last year. That's the biggest number in eight years. Although it's still some way short of the 75,500 repossessions during the house, house price crash of 1991. But banks and building societies note just over 1% of mortgage holders fell more than three months behind with their payments in 2007. A sign that repossessions are likely to continue. How have people managed to get themselves into this situation? Well, over the last few years, uh, lenders have been fairly lax, quite frankly, about what they've been willing to allow people to borrow. So people have been able to overstretch themselves much more easily. And then normally what happens with repossession is that you get into some form of trouble. You have some life change, like divorce or unemployment or even a new baby arriving, something that shakes up your domestic situation so that it becomes very difficult to pay your mortgage. Now, obviously, if you've got a 100% mortgage uh, backed up by six times a joint income, then that makes you a lot more vulnerable to changes in your life. And so that's picked up. And also interest rates, um, the mortgage repossessions bottomed out roughly in 2003 at under about eight. And interest rates have picked up, even though obviously they've gone down recently. And so it makes it more expensive to people to pay their debt. And so they, that's why repossessions have been picking up. So interest rates and, of course, people, people being cut short by their own spending, perhaps. But uh, if we look at the Financial Times in a tomorrow morning, in fact, their lead article there suggests that perhaps uh, mortgage has triggered this way identity and kind of exploiting that. I think it's similar. Um, I mean, you just need to look at SockGen actually to see that. It's for this, this huge rise. I think it's only a contributory factor. Uh, the, the basic problem is that people have borrowed too much. Um, that's been allowed to happen. And the issue with 2008 is that that's going to stop happening. It's going to be harder for people to borrow more. Um, but certainly I think that particularly in the new build sector and people with self-certification mortgages, we probably will find there's been a lot of fraud and I expect that to be a story we hear a lot more about. So a sign of things to come then you think for 2008? Oh absolutely, absolutely. Just very quickly if we can John, speak about the fact that some people might be able to make money out of this repossession saga in terms of exploiting, uh, buying these properties and then leasing them back, exploiting the victims if you like. Well this is the kind of sell to rent back phenomenon and this is also something the Citizens Advice Bureau suggested might be one of the reasons that repossessions didn't quite rise by as much as was expected last year. And what happens is that people offer to buy your home for buttons basically and then they'll rent you it back. Um, I mean, it's an unregulated area. It's extremely dangerous because obviously it's an area where you can, people can take advantage of people who are in severe circumstances. Um, and the main issue is that when people go to rent these properties back, they can be evicted after six to 12 months um, and then they find that they're homeless and obviously they've been paid much less than the market value for their house. So it's something that, if nothing else, the FSA really needs to have a look at. Sure. OK, John, thank you very much for your time. John Stippick there from Money Weeks at Magazine. Now, some other news for you, and it's a new loaf of shares in the maker of Bisto, Mr Kipling Cakes and Hovis Bread. Pre